everyone welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be doing a t-shirt that I'm going to be writing on with Sharpie and um, it's a t-shirt that I've been wanting for a while but uh, you know it's difficult just to print one t-shirt um, it's a black t-shirt that I it had an emblem of another company on it so I removed the emblem and I'm also going to be changing the t-shirt but I'm going to write on it so long and then what I usually do is I cut it and I'll show you when I show you the t-shirt how I usually cut it um, just so that it looks a bit different and um, I'll show you like if I show you now you can see over here this is how we usually cut it I found it on Pinterest and um, because I don't like t-shirts because they make me hot so I usually like the sleeveless things I'm sure you've seen it um, and I so I fixed it so that it is not a proper t-shirt um, so I hope that you enjoy the video and let me know if you try yours and it actually works I'd like to know okay so this is the t-shirt I'm going to be using a ruler and some or dressmaker's chalk <laughs> just to make the line so that I don't go off the lines and then I'm going to be using a silver sharpie because I wanted the the writing to be in silver um, the t-shirt that I want to make, I'm going to put over here for you, over here, and that's the t-shirt that I'd like to do today. Um, now, what I was talking about now with the how I cut um, the t-shirt, sorry, just got a message, um, how I cut the t-shirt is, you can see this is a normal t-shirt, I had to cut off the bottom because that's where the emblem was, was at the bottom. And then what I do usually is I cut off the sleeves over here. And then I cut it across over here and cut off the sleeves. But like you saw in the picture that I put previously, that's what I do. And that's what I'll do after I've actually done the writing. I want to get the writing done first. And then if the t-shirt's not big enough, which it should actually be because it's quite big, um, then I can make it bigger by just adding in more material like I did with one of my other t-shirts. But um, I will see, first see after I've done the writing. So let's get started. Okay, so first I need to find where the middle of the um, t-shirt is. So I probably need to blank there for a minute. And I need to remember where I'm going to cut the t-shirt. So usually I cut them about there. And I want, so let me just put a line there so I can remember. That's where I usually cut it. Maybe push a little bit harder. <laughs> there we go. And I'd like it a little bit further down from there, but not too much. So I'm going to say about here. center usually I'm quite you can measure but I'm usually quite good with looking with my eye I think I get that from my the African side of my family um, because they're also very good at that um, like my Omar was good at that and my aunt aunt Kareem and um, her daughters as well Sanae and Kareem We're all creative, even my brother Chris and my sister, even, but she's from my mom's side of the family. So that's going to be where future is. Best selling, I'm going to have to make longer, so I'm going to put a little bit further this way. And a little bit high up there. Okay, you're probably wondering what I'm going to do with the bottom that I cut. I will just um, overlock it and put in another hem again. I just wanted to first see if I need to add anything into the sides here before I put the hem in. Now, I don't have a stencil or anything, so I'm going to be basically doing this freehand and um, 
if you do have a stencil uh, try and use that rather if you're not someone that um, likes to do writing or that has a neat handwriting you know try rather to use a stencil because it'll just be easier for you and less stressful I'm just remove it to the side because that's how I write <laughs> first layer I want to do the second layer I just want to first get the cookie to be more um, like I need to give it a chance to um, re ink itself you could say um, and then I will go in and make it harder you know like more bold I can't think of the words for that I'll make it more bold okay so I'm going to make it darker now
t-shirt finished I will show you in a, from the front now now um, I had to swap Cokies and move over to this one just excuse what it looks like um, I'm not too sure what happened to it but it's a pilot the permanent ink one um, because the sharpie keeps drying out and also um, you can't like re-ink it the way that you can re-ink this one where you just push it down on paper and then it re-inks itself um, so the sharpie just was giving me uphill and also it was quite dark a dark silver compared to this one which is a light silver as you can see which stands out more on this black t-shirt so i just like oh, i just wanted to let you know that i swapped cokies i did try a different one but it didn't work this this silver cokie it's too thin um, so that is it finished. Uh, all I'd have to do now after you've done this step is if you've got a normal convection oven then you would put it on to 180 degrees and then you let it reach its temperature and then you switch it off and you fold this up and you put it inside the oven and let it stay in there until the oven cools down by itself. If you um, don't have a convection oven like I don't have one I have a gas stove um, then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to press it with an iron um, but I have to you can't press it on the, obviously on the writing so you, you flip it over and you press it so that the color can um, become fast in the uh, material so it can stick to the material uh, make sure that you press it quite a bit so that it's very heated and it stays there because otherwise if you wash it, it will wash out and you don't want that after all your hard work. When I'm done with that, then I will be cutting the t-shirt and sewing it the way that I want it. Um, but that type of thing, that type of video would be a different video. This one's just for the writing. You can also use paint if you have a very steady hand and you have silver paint that you can use, fabric paint, which I don't currently have. Um, you can also use that if you want to, which will also help. It's um, a prof Fabric paint would probably work a lot better, but I don't know how easy it would be to do the writing. Yeah, this is the finished product. Future best-selling author. It looks pretty cool. So I hope that you enjoyed the video, and if you could please give it a thumbs up just to show that you did like it. And if you haven't subscribed already, if you wouldn't mind just clicking the subscription block below to show your support for my channel, I would really appreciate it. Um, all of my social media will be in the description block below, including my blog, which is where you can find more content from me as well. I hope that you have a lovely day further. Keep your crystal on and your sparkle strong. Goodbye.